All right, guys, I know we don't live in a neighborhood anymore, but just as all of our RC jet jock traditions, we are going to take the new Viper for a walk. Y'all ready? <laughs> this is the RC jet jock. Oh, I just broke it. Hey guys, Jet Jock here, and uh, we are really, really excited today. We're going to be doing the setup of the 90 millimeter Viper, and we're going to be doing the Maiden today. A little bit nervous about that. But before we get to the Maiden, I wanted to talk to you guys about subscribing to our channel. We have lots of cool projects, like the uh, King Air 200 that's right above our head, the F-104 Redo, and the T-28 Trojan, which will be coming right after the F-104 video. So we have lots of cool projects, even more than that. We've got a U2 spy plane, we've got the A7 Corsair, we've got the F9 F Cougar. So we have so much coming your way. So please, please hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, guys, let's get to the setup. All right, here's the guide. Now let's see what it looks like in real life and on a Spectrum radio. As you saw on the slide before, the CG is 10 millimeters behind the plastic wing mounting structure. And with my HRB 5000 milliamp 6S pack pushed almost all the way forward, we achieved balance. Now, let's take a look at all of the different rates. And this way, we can see what the control surface deflections are going to look like with our set percentages. My high and mid rate percentages are based off of the measurements that came with the manual for high and low rates. My low rate settings that I put was just an arbitrary number because I had a three position switch. And I always add 30% expo to all of my EDFs. My flap setup was at positive 100 for flaps up, zero for flaps takeoff, and negative 100 for flaps landing. I set the flaps on a six second delay to give it more of a scale deployment. <laughs> and also, when I put them down in flight, it makes the flight characteristics a little more predictable. All right, guys, hopefully that was really informative and that helped y'all set a benchmark for this 90 millimeter beast. So next up, we have the Maiden, <laughs> a little bit nervous, but all right, let's go see it. Warning, the following footage was not filmed by Chicken Girl or Beluga Girl. Viewer discretion is advised. The airplane's rates were set to medium. It's Maiden time. clicks of up. I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming maybe for a hot dog, huh? Yeah. That looks better. I like a, I like a little down, but not that much down. Let's try that low pass on you. Yeah, big test is I got the timer set for three and a half. So let's see what we're going to look at.
right, so I got my one minute timer coming off. I'm gonna start configuring here, just to give myself some time. line here. Yeah. They say this thing will stall easy in turns if you're too slow. It wasn't until this point in the flight that I realized that something was amiss. With the flaps down, the airplane wasn't climbing prior, but all of a sudden it was climbing with full down elevator. I eventually regained control here in this part of the turn. I pulled back and I ballooned a little bit as you see what's coming up next. And then after the balloon, I went down elevator one last time and I never regained back. This was full back elevator right now. Splat. Yeah, look, no elevator right there. We still have battery. I mean, there was no issue there. Um, this is weird. Look at that. Flaps, they still work. <laughs> Ailerons are working, but yeah, no, no elevators. That's just where it kind of cartwheeled in the elevator. Um, we're all plugged in. I think the only thing that we can do here is um, go into the tail here in a second and figure out. Battery's not even hot. So, I mean, this is not bad damage. This is easily fixed. Yeah. It's, and very easily fixed. That's not horrible. I've fixed a lot worse than this, like that F-104. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're going to have to check this out and see what, what happened here because, I mean... we got to find the edge of the side of this wing. Yeah, but you can see, look, I've got ailerons, my flaps work, and rudder work. i still got power in the, uh, in the uh, motor there, but there's no, no, elevator. no elevator. So we're going to have to open this up and see um, where we're at. I think there's uh, some pieces over here. Pilot ejected. Be yeah, safe. pilot ejected himself. Um, here's my tip there. Yeah, there's. I guess that was some. Uh, that's aileron or something. There's a red Rear door nose. Now we just need. A, here's the wing tip. It came off clean. So there is that. So yeah. Um, well, let's go take it back. Let's go take it apart and see. Maybe if I just lost a servo plug. I mean, that's the only other thing that I, I can think of that would have happened because I was full full deflection down and the uh, airplane was still climbing and then it, it like came back to life for a second and I had control over my pitch again and then on approach there it disappeared again so something worked its way out or or maybe they just they died I don't know we shall see. Add another uh, 
Another video for the channel here of us rebuilding the old Viper jet. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, so what, what, what's this deal? Why? Well, I mean, that was deep in there. Um, well, there, there you have it folks. This is a mystery to me. I mean, that looks like that was clean cut. But uh, that's that's how you lose your elevator servo in flight. Um, uh, do you think the fan could have cut it? No, because it would have been watered up in the fan. I mean, how, how does that get cut? There's no way. That was cut previously some kind of way. Factory stuff. Hanging by a thread or something, huh? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. All right, guys. Well, we're going to make a call to Horizon because I didn't do that. And it just took down my brand new airplane. So um, I'll report back to you to see how customer service treats us. All right, guys. That was kind of a bummer, huh? Yeah, because I wasn't there and that's why it cracked. Yeah, so um, guys, whenever I say get your kids involved, I really mean it because apparently when they're not involved the airplanes crash right but let me tell you for those three minutes while I was up there that was an excellent flying airplane I really really enjoyed it and um, as an update as well Horizon Hobby came through all the parts are on back order so a little bit of backstory to that they gave me a choice if I wanted to replace the airplane which is on back order and we know what the shipping issues oh, right little bunny. the shipping issues are taking forever yeah so um, we decided to go ahead and get replacement parts, but in an interim, because they're on back order as well, um, as you can see, we fixed the airplane, right? Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. We're going to have a whole episode of how we repaired the airplane, and, and we'll give you some pointers on how to do so, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, once again, get your family involved. Get your get kids involved. Get new people in the hobby. because And bunnies. And bunnies. Yes, bunnies. They're cute. Um, because airplanes crash if you don't. <laughs> no, I'm joking. All right, you ready to take it away? Please like.